our first date. We went to dinner at Tony Roma's. Tony Roma's. It's at Hard Rock Cafe now. We did talk about where we were going to go eat. I jokingly said McDonald's, and I was like, you have to get me a toy, though. And so when he when he did pick me up for our date, there was a McDonald's toy sitting on my seat. I just thought it was really sweet that he went out of the way just to go do that when he opened the door for me, which no guy had ever done beforehand, and he always opens the door for me. You know, fast forward two years with Paul the rain. We go to Patriot Park, sit down, and I'm being all mushy, mushy, and gushy. And, like you always do. Well, yeah. My heart's like beating like crazy. I'm surprised you couldn't see it through my shirt. And I get down on one knee and pass those words that I knew I was gonna say since the first time I saw Kylie. When you married me. And she didn't say anything. I walked backwards. And then I'm sitting there still on one knee, frantically like, please don't walk away. <laughs> Come back. older sister and two younger brothers and so I've, I've always had <laughs> a very large family but until I met Callie I didn't realize there was still a void and she's filled a place in my heart that I didn't even know was there. The little sister I feel like I never had. Andrew's always been a, the, the greatest guy I know. Since we met in high school always been more of a, a brother to me. Anytime anyone um, is in need of anything, Andrew's the first one to be there uh, to help him out. And he would do go out of his way at any means uh, to help him in any way he can. in them as a couple and I can't tell you what an honor it has been to get to witness God's hand on their life and it's been the most beautiful thing. Now, Heavenly Father we just want to thank you so much for this day for allowing this young couple to come together. We know they love each other, and they love you, and you love them. Be with them as they go through the rest of their lives together, and bless them in every way that they walk and everything that they do. came to thinking of ideas to make a toast, two words came to mind, genuine and sincere. Kind of brought a memory from when Andrew's grandfather, Jimmy, passed away. Andrew was giving a speech and he said that if he could love Callie half as much as his grandfather loved his grandmother, then he'd be doing pretty good. What really sets these two apart is that simple, undeniable fit. They balance each other out so well, it's almost as if they were meant to find each other.
Andrew, I want to summarize the Bible's teaching on marriage in the words of your grandfather who knew and loved Callie very much. He would say, give each other your love, it's the foundation. Give each other your trust, that's essential. Give each other your friendship, not just existing together, but being friends together. Then give each other your respect. We have all noticed that you have a deep respect for one another. Your love, your trust, your friendship, your respect, all the time. That's a great way to build a marriage. Don't cry now. <laughs>